Actually, we were quite surprised how much we could learn from this registry. The classical placebo-controlled randomized trial has a duration of half a year, one year, at most three years. And it's quite surprising that with testosterone, um, testosterone has been available for medical treatment since more than 70 years. In this long history of, of studying testosterone, there are only three placebo-controlled trials with a duration of three years. So, of course, with this observational study, we went far beyond these three years and we found things that were absolutely surprising. One thing that was surprising to us was all the comorbidities that we saw in these hypogonadal men. Hypogonadism is not an isolated disease. It usually comes in men who are obese, in men who have type 2 diabetes, men who are hypertensive, all the features of the metabolic syndrome. We have very, very few men who have normal weight. The majority are overweight or obese. So with, the, with advancing time, we were able to do subgroup analyses on all these different conditions. And one of the uh, comorbidities that we found was a relatively small number of patients with type 1 diabetes, but since this is a disease which is difficult to treat, we decided to run a separate analysis on these patients. Of course, these men with uh, type 1 diabetes, of course they are all on insulin, mm -hmm. um, had improvements in their underlying disease. The urologist who runs the registry does not treat type 1 diabetes, he treats hypogonadism because these patients present with erectile dysfunction, with urinary function problems and so on. So we found after many years of studying these patients that these patients were uh, continuously and progressively improving. For instance, the HB1C, which we measure routinely in, in the urology office, came down from the mean 7.9 to 5.9. So they improved a lot 